How's it going everyone? I'm Taylor and today I am doing my August slash summer wrap up for the summer basically. I only read three books in August so and I only read three books, th no two books the rest of the time so I only have five books to show you guys. I know it's pathetic, I did not read that much this summer but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. So the first book that I finished this summer was P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, and this is the second book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology, hopefully a trilogy, because I think that this could still go on. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars, even though I did like the first one a little better. I'm not going to explain what this one is about because it is a second book, but I will tell you what the first one is about. So To All the Boys I've Loved Before is about this girl named Laura Jean and when she has a crush on a boy she will write them a, let a love letter but she'll never send it out basically she'll just put all of her feelings onto paper get them all out and then kind of address it and then put it in a, in a, in a box and there she goes she's fine she's over her feelings for that person but then one day a boy comes up to her a boy that she has written a letter to and asks her about this letter so she runs home and finds out that they're missing and eventually she realizes they've been sent out and it's just her dealing with that and it's hilarious, funny, and cute. I loved it and this book I loved too but I still love the other one better because this one got a little bit too predictable for me but I still enjoyed it as much as the other one and I really hope that she makes a third book for this series. The next book that I read this summer was, I figured it'd be a great summer read because summer is in the title. I knew it was a little sad, but I loved the author's other books, so I picked up Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. Boy was I wrong about this one. I only gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I've loved Morgan's other books, but this one just did not do it for me. Um, the main character's name is Taylor, and she was just very annoying to me. She was so immature for her age, and everything that happened before she came back to the summer house, it was all her fault. But basically, this book is about this girl and her family. They are coming back to their summer lake house for the last time as a full family together, because something is happening. I don't know if I should tell you because I think it might be a spoiler, but it's basically their last sum summer as a all full family together. And I love the family aspect of this book, but still the main character really annoyed me and it took me so long to read it because of that reason, so that is why I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. But still, I would recommend it to anyone who's in to Morgan Matson's book because I will still read anything by her. She's a fantastic person. I've met her. She's hilarious and I really hope to see her again. I'll read anything she puts out. The next three books that I read were in the month of August and that was because of Booktubeathon which was earlier this month. The first book that I finished for that for that week was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis and this is the second book in the Chronicles of Narnia series by him, and this was a reread for me. I read this book back in third grade, and I, when I was reading this again, I just remembered all the memories from when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to tell you what it's about. You probably already know, but four siblings, two boys and two girls, uh, they go into this wardrobe to hide and they find out that on the other side is a magical forest called Narnia and the chaos ensues from there and it's fantastic. If you have not read anything by C.S. Lewis yet, you really should. He is a fantastic author. The next book that I read was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and I gave this book a four out of five stars. I This was the first Colleen Hoover book that I've read. I'm going to read more of her books soon, hopefully, but I gave this four out of five stars because it kind of made me irritated with one of the main characters. The female character, Tate, I just did not like the way she chose to do things towards the end of this book, but what really made me like this one, though, was the cool writing style it had. 
So basically, it's told from dual points of views between Tate, the girl, and Miles, the guy. And when it's told from Tate's point of view, it's in the present. And then for Miles' point of view, it's in six years into the past. And in that point, he's like, it's written kind of like poetic, almost like everything is centered on the page. It's like poetic writing. It's just beautiful. And I loved reading that. But if you don't know what this is about, it's kind of almost a friends with benefits situation. Tate is like too busy to have a relationship. Miles is just doesn't want to love anymore. And you find out why he doesn't want to fall in love because um, in his past. But like the way that Tate let Miles treat her towards the end, like the things that she just let him get away with, I did not agree with. So that's why it kind of lost a star for me. But I still really want to read other books by this author because I did really enjoy it. And the last book that I finished this summer was Off the Page by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. And like I said before, this book is about a prince from a fairy tale. I'm sorry, my legs are really hurting me right now. A prince from a fairy tale, and he comes out of the book and into our world. And his main love interest is the girl that has read his book over and over and over again. So it's like every fangirl's dream, basically. I went into this book completely blind about what it was about. I haven't even read the book that this is the companion to, which is Between the Lines, and I don't really think you need to because I understood everything that was going on. I was never confused. It was really, really funny. I laughed out loud like multiple times while reading this, but I did give it four out of five stars because it was a little predictable and very cheesy at some points. Um, overall, it's a funny book. There is maybe one sad scene in it, but other than that, I recommend it to anyone who's looking for a kind of light read or like just a cool laugh, a uh, fun laugh now, uh, th then and now. So that is all the books that I read this summer. Hopefully I'll do more during the school year. I do find that I read more when I'm in school than I do when I'm not in school. And that is because when I do read, I kind of, um, I read while I'm waiting for class. And I didn't have class to wait for over the summer. And I had a lot to do. And I want to do other things besides read because sometimes over the summer because that's when all my friends are free. But hopefully I'll get some more done. And... Um, yeah, and Queen of Shadows comes out really soon, so very excited about that. So I'll probably be reading a lot within the next week, so you can look forward to that. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you guys again with my next video. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or follow my reviews on Goodreads, go ahead and click those right down below. They're all linked there. And I will see you guys again later. Goodbye.